I was always on a search to try to understand why we human beings suffer and how to kind of how to end that within myself. And through my early 20s, I was always in the bookstore reading hundreds of books on, you know, spirituality, which actually kind of stumbled into spirituality. And a lot of spiritual teachers kept talking about, hey, it's not necessarily the circumstances of the life that you're in, but it's your mind's relationship to it or thoughts and beliefs. And that was very foreign to me in the early, my early 20s. But I kind of got a sense of it that, you know, when I'm angry, anxious, worried, fearful, that it's something my own mind's doing to me on the inside as I'm relating to life and, and the world. And through that journey, I learned a lot about thought and how a lot of what goes on in between my ears may feel true, but they're actually lies that I'm believing in, whether I picked up those lies or beliefs from growing up or from media or society or some other avenue, um, and that there is an opportunity to learn as a skill to step back from your mind, to question your thoughts, to see thoughts as thoughts as an essential skill. And the more and more that you do that, which kind of leads into the clinical work that I do with people, you can experience more clarity, freedom, and inner peace in your life, despite your situation. So whether you get the relationship or not, whether your body is healthy and fit, or you got a severe medical diagnosis, or some other challenge that you're experiencing in your life, that the more and more you deal with how your mind relates to it and question it and step back from it, those challenges could be either bearable or they just kind of release themselves and there's a lot more freedom. And so really my own personal inner journey led me to understand the nature of the mind, its limitations, how that is a primary source of the suffering that we experience, how we could take our power back from it by questioning it or just stepping back from it through something like meditation, as an example. And then the more inner peace you have, then through that, you can then express authentically how you like to move in your relationships or work or other areas of your life. Mm -hmm. 